Good day, everyone. Welcome to Geotutors. On this set of series we are starting, it's on proving for the geometric factors of our electrical resistivity array configuration. Okay, so we're starting, the first video is on when array. Now, you know, on the field, the when array has a configuration in which the electron spacing, that's the distance between the current electrode, between two electrodes, the first and the next one, will always be the same thing. So here you can see that this time between C1 and P1 is A, P1 and P2 is A, and P2 and C2 is what A. So in when array, just remember or just note that what the distance between two electrodes is what is the same. Okay, the first and the next, the first and the next, like that. Good. Now note, um, for us to prove for our geometric factor, okay, for us to prove for our geometric factor. There are things that you must note and you must need to remember. So, our geometric factor has the formula 2 pi over 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 minus 1 over r3 plus 1 over r4. So, what is r1? Always remember, r1 is the distance from what? C1, from the current to the what? To the first potential. Okay? Just note that the r1 is C1 to P1. R2 is what? C2 to P1. Okay? A trick that I can use, that I do use, is that what? I know that I must first do what? The first potential first before I now move to the second potential, which means R1 and R2 is just distance from what? R1, which means I'm thinking what must come to my is what? The first current. And I told you again that you, what? you must, like the idea that you use is what? You are covering the first potential first. So you are doing C1 to P1, C2 to P1. That's for R1 and R2. Why? R3, R4 is for the second potential, but you still start from what? C1 to P2, C2 to what? To P2. Okay, so let's prove for our geometric factor. Now from here, we can see that R1, okay? So R1 here is what? C1 to P1. Can you not see that it's A? Right, A. R2 is from what? C2, can you see C2, have C2 to what? To P1. So C2 to P2 is A. From P2 to P1 is A. So that's A plus A. That's this distance. Okay? And that's what A plus A. And that's what 2A. R3. R3 is what? C1 to what? To P2. Which is what? A plus what? A. That is what? 2A. And R4 is C2 to what? To P2. And that's just A. Good. Then you're now going to your geometric factor and substitute the value of what? R1, R2, R3, R4, you have gotten from your array congregation. Okay, so 2 pi over what? 1 over A, have it? Minus 1 over what? 2A, minus 1 over what? 2A, plus 1 over what? A. Good. So the next thing you're going to do, the next thing you're going to do is to what? Find the LCM. The LCM of your denominator of your fractions is 2a. a in 2a, 2, 2 times 1, 2. Minus 2a in 2a, 1, 1 times 1, 1. Minus 2a in 2a, 1, 1 times 1, 1. Plus a in 2a, 2a is 2, Jerry. 2 times 1, 2. So this gives us 2 pi over what? 2 minus 1, minus 1, everything is what? 2 over what? 2a, okay? So we can say 2 pi divided by what? 2 over what? 2a. So this gives us what? 2 pi times what? 2a over 2. And this gives us what? 2 here, 2 here. So you have 2 pi what? a. So the, therefore, the geometric factor for when our configuration is what? 2 pi what? a. Good.